everyone, Martin Mulder here for On The Tracks of 007.com and I welcome you to this week's episode of 7 Minutes of Bond Locations. Every now and then people ask me what was the most difficult location that you uh, had to find. And while many were quite difficult uh, to discover, one in particular stands out and it was uh, the house where Mark and Draco celebrates his birthday and where Bond and Tracy get, mar get married in, uh, uh, in On Her Majesty's Secret Service. To tell you uh, a bit more about this, I'm going to take you on a journey to Portugal. The only clue available uh, to the general public in those days um, was a reference in the book The James Bond Films by Stephen J. Rubin. And that was the book that got me interested in, uh, in all the behind the scenes stuff from the Bond films because it was filled with it. In the book it was mentioned that the scenes were shot in a place called Zambuljal. And I thought it couldn't have been easier uh, with such a good clue, but I was wrong. Or rather the book was a bit wrong. Uh, as it turned out, there was no such town or city called Zambujal in Portugal. But I was never able to, to come up with any clue regarding that specific house or that reference, Zambujal. Um, until the special edition DVDs came out. And on the commentary track of the On Her Majesty's Secret Service DVD, uh, Peter Hunt can be heard saying it was filmed just outside Setubal. And that was a very good reference as Setubal uh, is just south of Lisbon uh, and, and that could be easily found on a map. So the next step was to, to look carefully uh, at the, the birthday party scene. And when you look at it, visible in the back was a very wide river uh, just behind the bullring. And adding all that information together, actually only one area qualified. And in 2002, the first digital maps appeared on the internet, and, and, and there it was. At the precise spot that I had found, I noticed a name on the map, Zambujal, without the L. A few months later, I found time to spend uh, a weekend in Portugal, so I flew to Lisbon, I rented a car, and I drove down to that area south of Setubal, uh, that, that, that Peter, just as Peter Hunt has descri had described. Uh, Unsure how to approach the estate, I discovered a road called the Estrada do Jambujal, and that sounded very promising. Uh, it was basically a, a one-lane road, quite narrow, uh, and it led to a bridge across a wide river. And this was the river that I had seen in the, in the back of the Draco birthday scene. So I crossed the bridge, and at some point I found a dirt road that led to the main house. And I immediately recognized it. It was the small road you can see in the film. The one that Tracy drives on uh, when she arrives at the birthday party. And it's the same road uh, where later the, the newlyweds uh, can be seen leaving the estate. And it still looked exactly as in the film. It was simply unbelievable. I decided to park my rental car and just while I was looking around uh, where to go next, uh, an Audi uh, four-wheel drive approached me and parked next to me. And an attractive lady in her early 50s stepped out of the car and she casually asked if she could help me. The lady was Isabel Vinas uh, and uh, she married into this rich and influential family. Uh, and she took me in her four-wheel drive uh, to show me the whole estate and it's actually very large. Uh, the beautiful main house where her in-laws still lived, uh, in front of which the, the wedding party was filmed. And of course the bullfighting arena, uh, a few hundred meters from the main house. And that's marvelous, marvelous place. And it was such a wonderful day and she was so friendly and helpful. Uh, so we exchanged telephone numbers and I promised her that I would be back. And that happened a year later uh, when I took a group of 10 people, small group, uh, on, a, on a location tour to Portugal. And we also ended up, of course, at San Bugel. Uh, before we moved on, we all jumped into my rental van, which then was a Mercedes 10 seater. And we drove for maybe 20 minutes but after 20 minutes, we ended up at their private beach. And on that beach, uh, part of the love montage was filmed. In 2019, the Palacio Hotel made arrangements for a group visit to the, uh, to the Zambujal estate uh, as part of our On Her Majesty's Secret Service 50th anniversary celebrations. And then uh, we arrived by coach, 40 people, uh, and we had a fantastic time. But for some strange reason, we were not allowed to photograph the main house. So I went into the office uh, at the estate and I explained that within an hour a very special guest would arrive. 
and after hearing who, they made a quick phone call and uh, all the restrictions were lifted. And 30, 40 minutes later, our special guest did indeed arrive and it was George Lazenby, back at Zambujal after 50 years for the first time. And we spent quite some time uh, around the house and, and at the bullfighting arena with him. And uh, it was absolutely surreal to see him back at that place. Herdado do Zambujal, uh, or Great Farm Zambujal, is a one hour drive from Lisbon. Uh, you just have to follow the A2 Sul, which is the main highway that leads all the way to southern Portugal, to the Algarve. Uh, it's actually very easy to combine with another uh, very special location, uh, the Arabida National Park. It's just located on the other side of Setubal. And there Peter Hunt filmed the final scene of the film, uh, The Death of Tracy. Well, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching this episode, and I'll see you next time. For more info on this and other Bond destinations, check out on the tracks of 007.com and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.